in this activity, we're gonna be highlighting bird superpowers. When I say bird superpower, it's not necessarily like a superpower like you think of a superhero. These things that they have, these features that birds have, are very specific to their environment and their habitats. And we're gonna highlight one specific feature that birds have in this activity. In this activity, you are gonna be working with different kinds of bird eggs. These eggs have a specific feature on them called camouflage. What is camouflage? It's just a big word that means the features that are on the outside of an object allow it to be able to remain hidden in a specific area. So, for example, people who hunt wear kind of like a green and brown palette outfit so they can remain hidden when they are trying to hunt for animals. Animals have this trait as well. This helps them adapt to their environment so they can live a little bit longer. So specifically eggs have their own features that allow the eggs to remain hidden. Why do we think we want eggs to remain hidden in all of habitats? Because they're easy lunch, right? For any kind of predator because it's not gonna bite back and it's it's just it's easy to grab. So you're gonna have a few different kinds of bird designed eggs and your job is to hide them throughout the classroom and see if you can trick your classmates and time how long it takes to find each kind of bird egg. There's gonna be a few different types. There's a robin egg, two different kinds of chicken eggs, and then we have kind of more of a wild bird egg that's a little bit more brown spotted. Now, obviously we're not outside in the environment. We're gonna be inside in the classroom. So thinking about the kind of colors that you see in your classroom, make a prediction. Which one do you think is gonna take the longest to find? And that is your goal, is you're gonna time how long it takes for each classmate to find each different kind of egg and record that. And then once you do that, you can move on to the second activity because I can't imagine it will take you too long to figure out which camouflage works best for the environment because then you get to design your own camouflage. Now, this isn't really how nature works. They don't get to design their own camouflage, but the camouflage that does work gets to actually stay generation after generation after generation. That's what adaptation is called. But you're gonna design your very own egg. We would love to see what kind of eggs that you design. But before we get into that, I'm gonna have my friends at the ICM share what their favorite bird superpower is and why. Oh, hey, Pete. Hi. If you had a bird superpower, what would it be? <laughs> well, you know, birds have beaks just like me. So I guess I already have a bird superpower. <laughs> I use mine to eat things like shrimp and vegetables. Birds with beaks like to eat nuts, and I like nuts. That's fair. Thank you, Pete. I'm Maggie, and I would want to be a parrot because they can mimic any noise. Jenny, and my bird superpower would be to have really great long distance vision like a hawk. Hi, I'm Sarah Phyllis at the Other Children's Museum, and my favorite bird, or the bird that I'd want to be, is a hummingbird because they're tiny and cute. If I had a bird superpower, what would it be? I've had a good chunk of time to think about my answer, and it's I would love to have legs as strong and fast and powerful as emus and ostriches. Emus and ostriches are our only flightless birds on the planet. And they live in kind of a risky habitat. They live in the sub-Saharan African desert where they have to compete against large predators like lions and tigers and hyenas to be able to survive. They're not birds of prey where they hunt live animals they still need to be able to survive and thrive to be able to create generation after generation after generation. So through adaptation, they've been able to gain these really, really, really awesome legs that can get them to run up to 60 miles per hour and with one kick, potentially kill a lion. I think that's so amazing how this bird that can't fly but can run super quickly 
because of how adaptation works. If you had a bird superpower, what would it be? Let us know. Thanks for coming to play today.